we're going to look at a problem involving matrices. So the question here says, are A and B inverses of each other? Show why or why not? All right, so before we get too deep into this, I want to talk a little bit about this word inverse and relate it to some knowledge that you may have from before. All right, so additive inverse. Remember what the additive inverse is? If we have numbers like 3 and negative 3, we say that they're additive inverses of each other because if we add them together, we get 0. And 0 is the additive identity. Additive identity. So what that means, identity, is if I add anything plus 0, I get that thing back. Or 0 plus any number. I get that number back. That makes zero the identity. So if two numbers add together to give the identity, which is zero, then they're inverses of each other. All right, multiplicative inverse. So basically we're looking at an inverse when we're multiplying. Let's say we have the number uh, five. So if I'm gonna find a multiplicative inverse, that's gonna be something that I'm gonna multiply by to get the multiplicative identity. So this is the identity of multiplication. In other words, oops, that's kind of sloppy. Anything times 1 remains the same number, and 1 times anything also remains the same number. That makes 1 the identity. All right, so we know that the reciprocal of 5 multiplied by 5 gives 1. So those are... Uh, the multiplicative inverses of each other. We have to do the reciprocal. For the additive inverses, we have to do the opposite. But the key is here, when we're after we add or after we multiply, we have the identity. All right, so let's go back to our matrix question. Are these inverses of each other? Well, if they're inverses of each other, and we're talking about multiplicative inverses, we could do both, actually. Let's, let's see if they're multiplicative inverses of each other. If they are, then that would mean that if we multiply them together, they're going to give the identity. Now, it doesn't matter what order we multiply them in. B times A or A times B has to give the identity. But what is the identity when you're talking about matrices? Well, the identity when you're talking about matrices is a square matrix that has ones all down the main diagonal here. This would be a 3 by 3 identity matrix, for example. Um, but here, when we have a 2 by 2 times a 2 by 2, the identity we're going to be looking for is a 2 by 2 identity matrix. So identity matrix has to be square, right? It has to be an n by n. And it has to have, have ones down the main diagonal and then zeros everywhere else. So in order to see if these are multiplicative inverses of each other, we're going to multiply them together and see if we get this multiplicative identity. All right? If they were additive inverses of each other, let's do that up here, then that would mean that we would add them together in any order, and we would get the additive identity, which is the zero matrix. So it's a square n by n matrix and every single entry is a zero. That's the additive identity matrix. Now, most of the time with matrices, additive identity, you're gonna be working, if they say inverse, they're gonna be talking about the multiplicative inverse. That has a lot more um, relevance with application. But we could look at this right now and see if we do A plus B, adding matrices is super easy because you just add each of the corresponding um, components. So we have six plus negative one, that's five, and we're done. It's They're not additive identities because we don't have a zero. We could finish two plus two is four, two plus two is four, negative one plus negative four is negative five. Uh, that is not equal to the, all zeros. So those are not additive inverses of each other. All right, so let's check and see if they are multiplicative inverses of each other. Now, multiplying matrices is a little more complicated than adding matrices. And again, we have to check both um, ways because multiplying matrices is not commutative. Adding matrices is commutative here. If you did B plus A, 
up here let me go back to orange if you added matrix b plus matrix a you would get the same thing because of the way that we add them together six plus negative one is the same as negative one plus six but the way that you multiply matrices um, does not preserve the commutative property maybe we could look at that now it's a little above and beyond what i want to show here but okay so when you're multiplying matrices here we're going to do a times b and see what happens and we're looking for the identity matrix. So when we multiply these together, remember if you have a two by two matrix times another two by two matrix, your resulting matrix is gonna be this big. It's gonna be the first number of A and the second number of B. So we're gonna get a two by two matrix. That's a good start because the identity matrix has to be square. So if one of these wasn't a square matrix, we'd know right away they can't be inverses of each other. Now, when we go to multiply these together, let me choose this pen. The first entry here, I mean, there's four entries, right? So there's uh, what we would call row one, column one right here, right? And then we'll have an entry here. And then we'll have an entry here. And we'll have an entry here. And I'm making these big because I'm going to show how you um, compute those answers. Oh, let's do green. All right. So to do this one right here. So to multiply this, I want to take the entries in the first row of column A. I'm sorry, the first row of matrix A times the first column of matrix B. All right, so we're going to go 6 times negative 1 plus 2 times 2. 6 times negative 1 plus 2 times 2. And that's a 6. And we can do that computation. That's easy, right? But I just want to see, I want you to see the pattern. All right, now when we do um, this entry right here, which is going to be uh, row 1, column 2. Let me pick a color here. How about purple? We haven't used purple. We're going to do the first row of A again, but now we're going to go to the second column of B. So it's going to be 6 times 2 plus 6 times 2 plus 2 times negative 4. 2 times, is that going to fit? Negative 4. Okay, now when we go down to the second row of our answer, we're going to go to the second row of A. All right, let's use green. So uh, let me er uh, yeah, let me erase these. Okay, hopefully you've got that. Let me erase at least these here so those don't get confusing. Okay, so now for this entry right here, we're going to go second row of A and the first column of B. And that's going to give us the second row of our answer and the first column. So a lot of times that's denoted like uh, second row, first column, entry A sub 2, 1. So we're going to go 2 times negative 1, 2 times negative 1, plus negative 1 times 2. Negative 1 times 2. Okay, and then the last one, uh, what color? Well, we'll do orange. So we're going to do the second row of A and the second column of B. 2 times 2 plus negative 1 times negative 4. 2 times 2 plus negative 1 times negative 4. Now, you, we can already see that this is not going to be the identity matrix. Hopefully, you can see that. So the first one, we get negative 6 plus 4. Then uh, going across, we would get 12 plus negative 24 is negative 14. And then we have negative 2 plus negative 2. And then we have 4 plus 4. All right, that's not the identity matrix. We Sometimes it's uh, a, a big I with a little 2 to signify a 2 by 2 identity matrix. So what does that tell us? These are not multiplicative inverses of each other. No. And show why or why not? Well, this is what we did here. We show that it's not equal to the identity matrix. Now, if it would have come out to be the identity matrix, you still would want to go and multiply B times A and see what that is. We'd have to have B times A and A times B come out to be the identity matrix, the two by two identity matrix. 
All right, well, I hope...